Today, I'm going to show you all how to create your very own Star Wars blaster effect in After Effects. Now, there are two ways to do this. One, download an asset, a blaster asset, somewhere, or create your very own from scratch. I show you all in today's video how to do both, but really quickly, if you are going to download an asset, I will say that I used Action VFX's, which in my opinion, that was the best choice because it is a free blaster uh, effect that you can get. All you have to do is get an account in Action VFX. It did not cost me any money. Action VFX is high quality stuff. They do have things that cost money, but this particular thing did not. So I do really recommend that if you're choosing to use an asset, go to actionvfx.com. Now, if you are deciding to create one from scratch, I do also show you how to do that as well. Now, let's hop right to the tutorial. All right, once you open up After Effects, the very first thing you are going to do is get a new comp from footage, go to photos, and get your footage. Okay, now that you have your footage, make sure you kind of have it trimmed how you want it. Trim contour work area, and you got your trimmed footage. Okay, so also remember I always talk about this, rename everything. Because it, it, it actually kind of makes it a little bit more organized, especially if you're working with other people, just to keep everything organized. Because if you just have, especially like if you're working on a bigger video with lots of assets, you just have 10 videos of, of numbers and masks and stuff. It gets a little confusing. I've done that before where I didn't rename a single thing. I had probably 10 to 15 things right here, not renamed. I had no idea what I was doing because I just... I kept clicking the wrong thing and messing up things. So just make sure you're always, even when it's like a very a short video like this, always make sure to rename things because it's just a good habit to have because it, it really makes everything more uh, clean and easy to use. Now, like I said in the intro, there is two ways to do this. One, getting an asset online and making your own laser asset. So since there's two ways, I'm going to show you how to do each one now. But uh, when I show you how to you know get and make both the lasers what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the asset for the remainder of the video to you know to show you all how to uh, keyframe it and stuff but you can still use whichever laser you you want whether it's an asset or one you made so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to the exact moment where you pull your you or your actor pulls that trigger and the laser is gonna be shooting out so what you're gonna do is if you have a asset of a laser that you downloaded mine I got which I got from action VFX and uh, what I would do to get that file that I've downloaded is get a file and go to import multiple files you're gonna go to downloads and find your file once you have it here you're gonna go over here and drag and drag that file right here now you want to scale it down and re may reposition it a little bit and then you're gonna go here uh, if by the way you're probably going to want to, if, if your uh, layer area over here looks like this, press the toggle switches mode, go to mode, go down, press screen to go to that the black area surrounding the laser. Also, as you can see, my laser, I'll show you how to create the laser from scratch in a minute. But first, I want to, and foremost, I gotta, you got to show you this. So you can see how this laser is actually pointing more this direction, but my, my character here, I'm facing more out of this angle so what I'm gonna go do is press this toggle switches mode at the bottom press this cube and actually I'm gonna kind of reposition it to where it's facing the correct area like in 3d space now it looks like it's more facing that direction because if you turn it it looks like I'm shooting in a totally different direction so now you got this you get the laser here now before I get anything else and how to make the laser you know all that light lighting and stuff I'm gonna show you how to, if you want to, now there's a lot of ways you can create a laser in After Effects, but there's a very simple way. If you go to solid, white, you know, masking tool, you're gonna create a mask like this. All right, now you got a little mask here. You go to masks. You're gonna go to mask feather, feather it out a little bit. Now I'm, I want my mask to be a lot, uh, about as thin as that asset laser you see. I want it to be a lot more thinner. Okay, 
that's what we're gonna do here okay now we're gonna go effects and presets type in glow drive the glow effect onto our laser change colors a and b to red or and um, you can choose whatever color you want for your laser but in this case I'm doing like a Star Wars red blaster okay so go to color channels and alpha channels and you can kind of customize how you want it to look and I mean that's however you want to look this is how I would choose mine to look but you can make your laser look in like any way you want it to you can make it a a purple laser you know if you want to just do whatever you do whatever you want you can make it make it you know like this like th like more light less light more white more whatever color you chose in, in any way you want so it's very customizable and if you downloaded an asset like I did from uh, action VFX you can actually change the color as well kinda using another method so if you would like to try to change the color of your laser you can easily do this by going to the curves effect and dropping it on your laser now let's say like okay I would like purple you want a purple laser okay so you're gonna try to move the colors around till you get that look see now it looks like per it looks purple so you could use that use the curves effect until you get that coloration you want but for me personally I would like the red the classic Star Wars blaster so that's what we're gonna do so real quick I don't I'm not gonna need this asset uh, for this next part so I'm just gonna press this invisible button real quick to make that you know kind of you know, go away it's still there but I don't want to be able to see it because we need to do something else now so for the blaster you are gonna be shooting your gun which means there's gonna be a muzzle flash and the muzzle flash is not going to be a normal muzzle flash. It's not going to look white, yellow, like when you shoot a normal gun. It's going to look quite different. But what you're going to do is you're going to get a uh, uh, a normal muzzle flash asset. And I don't know how you're going to do that. You can do it in a lot of different ways. But you can even just pull a photo of a muzzle flash in a black screen off Google. Any Literally any way you can get a normal muzzle flash photo in Dragon After Effects. It could you could find this anywhere like for instance I literally got this off, off Google okay I'm, I'm gonna show y'all that you don't have to spend money on a high quality asset every time you do something you could literally make an entire thing from scratch okay so I'm just saying that's why I love about filmmaking you can do pretty much anything you see on like movies and things in your own way and it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money film great filmmaking doesn't come from a high budget it comes from high knowledge of uh, filmmaking in your own mind so that's what I love about it okay muzzle flash one okay now that I've renamed this to keep everything orderly I'm gonna make this shot one frame on this on the same frame in which my character here uh, is going to pull the trigger to fire the blaster we're gonna kind of double click on the flash and you're gonna go to blending mode and you're gonna go to screen you're gonna make this flash about as big as the pistol that's kind of like a, I guess an unwritten rule as you're supposed to when it comes to muzzle flashes you want it to be on a pistol about the size of, a, of your pistol it's kind of that's just kind of how it usually is so now that I've kind of made this kind of look the right way you're like okay this looks like a gun a gun flash and you're you're right it does because it is but you're gonna go to effects and presets we're gonna go back to that curves effect and drag and drop on the muzzle flash we're gonna go up to RGB red and you're gonna make it look red customize it to how you want it all right that's how that's how I think that looks good so now that we have that you have it's gonna pull the trigger and well I gotta undo this laser now and the lasers there so Boom, and the laser's are still there, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the blaster. We're gonna go press this arrow to get down into transform. We're gonna press position. This creates a keyframe on where this blaster is, and you're gonna go a few frames, and you're gonna move this laser 
to wherever it's gonna where to, to wherever you want it to go. So uh, I would guess something like this. Now that if you want yours to have, you can actually use motion blur for this too. I do like uh, motion blur. You can make it the laser go faster too by just making the keyframes key closer, like that. And uh, obviously, do the uh, same thing for the um, second shot. So uh, right here, you can see that obviously the, a flash of this size with this type of a weapon would create light around you like on your face and all that so it's the same thing as the uh muzzle flash tutorial i did which was a i'm pretty sure it was a first or second uh tutorial vfx tutorial on this channel in which i showed you how to create light for when you shoot a gun but it's the same thing but different color so you're gonna go layer new and solid you're gonna go here press this Whichever color your your uh, blaster is, so mine's red, I'm doing red, uh, choose that. I'm going to call this layer muzzle light. Okay, you're going to go change the blending mode, so like this here. Blending mode, and you're going to go to soft light. Now, also, depends. I'm going to be putting light on me, uh, probably this door and wall, and mm, probably... It would probably reach over here so I'm probably gonna I'm gonna duplicate the muzzle light twice so if you're on Mac like I am I'm gonna do command D twice okay you're gonna go down this first layer press the masking tool this is in which I'm gonna be uh, putting light on me turn these off yeah this red mask obviously it's gonna be very sharp and doesn't look too great so you're gonna go to the mask your the mask that you just masked around right yourself or whatever and turn up you know mess with the feathering so it looks more blended into the shot and then you're going to make this one frame and it's the same frame in which you shoot and you're gonna do the same thing uh, on basically the uh, you can only also you may be only doing one of these but if you're doing multiple and we're going to do the same thing on this area here so we're gonna cut it off here and uh, Gonna go around here and there we go. We got this third third one. Mask, mask one, mask feathering, and kinda feather it out a little bit. So now we're gonna go over here. I'm about to shoot a second time. Make sure when I pull the gun. Okay. So now I'm pulling it a second time. Getting that second shot out. So we're gonna pull out the muzzle flash from the project area. We're gonna put that down again. We're gonna rename it to Muzzle Flash 2. We're going to do this basically the same thing that we just did, but basically I'm gonna be replicating the entire thing. So pretty that's pretty much it. I mean we I have besides, I mean obviously you're gonna do some touch-ups, and also if you're doing a second shot, never make it look the same as the other shot. So make the muzzle flash distorted, like I kind of turned it upside down. Make sure it doesn't look the same as the first shot, because no gun's muzzle flash is going to look the exact same after being shot. So mess it a little bit. Make it the same muzzle flash, but twist it around a little bit. But yeah, that is pretty much it with this shot. I mean, can you think of anything else? I mean, obviously there is going to be, like I said, other things you are going to want to do, what like uh, noises, uh, sound effects. You're going to want... There to be a laser sound effect you can find those like i said like i did with the muzzle flash pretty much anywhere you can find those sound effects for the laser and once you find that slap it onto the footage you have a star wars blaster effect anyway y'all thank you all so much for watching today's video i really do appreciate it don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you know anytime we post a new video like i said we have a Stranger Things effect video coming out July 1st. I'm very excited for that. It is going to be real fun to make. It's one of those effects that I've been wanting to share with you all because you could really use it. Though I'm using it in the Stranger Things setting, it's really, you could use it for a lot of other things. So I cannot wait to share it with you all. But anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching today's video. And don't forget, link in the description for our Discord. You can talk to me and a bunch of other filmmakers on there. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.